theoretical physics from the Department of National University of Lviv, and also I'm quantum lead computing research advisor at SOFSIR. Uh, so I would like to present the results, the scientific results, studies of entanglement. I uh, we will discuss the geometric measure of entanglement of quantum states, which are prepared by uh, different quantum circuits, parameterized quantum circuits. So the outline of my talk is the following. First, I will we will consider uh, the geometric measure entanglement of entanglement and uh, relation of this entanglement with mean spin. Also, we will calculate this uh, measure of entanglement analytically and also with the help of quantum device. Um, it will be on IBM quantum devices and uh, also on Rigetti quantum computers. So it is known that entanglement plays very, very important role in quantum computing, quantum programming. Uh, we have quantum supremacy, of course, also due to entanglement of quantum states. So it is very important to know what, what is the measure of entanglement of quantum states. Um, also, I have to say that there are different measure, measures of entanglement. But um, the, I, I guess uh, that uh, one of the most clear definition is uh, for the geometric measure of entanglement, which is defined as minimal squared Fubini standard distance between entanglement state, which we would like to consider, and a set of non entanglement states. So this is uh, the expression one given by uh, question one is the geometric measure of entanglement of, of quantum state. Uh, in this paper presented in this slide, uh, the authors of this paper are uh, Professor Tukachuk, uh, Dr. Samar, and also Professor Andrzej Friedrichak. Uh, it was shown that the geometric measure entanglement is related with mean spin. So if we would like to calculate the entanglement of one spin with other spins in a system, we have to calculate, we can calculate only the mean value of the spin. In this paper, also uh, the mixed states are considered and very nice results for the mixed states uh, are presented. But we focus on this because this relation give, uh, gives us possibility to calculate the geometric measure of entanglement on a quantum device and very, it is, this can be done very, very easy. So, <clears throat> Uh, we consider uh, various quantum states, uh, various parameterized, parameterized quantum circuits. Uh, first of all, we consider uh, these ones because uh, they are used in quantum machine like learning. Uh, so, for instance, quantum generative social network states um, are created in quantum machine learning are created with the following protocol. So here we considered, we have to consider controlled Z gates. And here we have controlled phase shift gates. So this it is known that uh, these gates uh, correspond in particular case to these gates in this protocol. So we considered the following states. And uh, I have to clarify that uh, we have uh, blocks which has to be, uh, this block have to be repeated. And uh, so we can study various cases of quantum states. The states are intended. So um, first of all, I have to start with the graph quantum graph states so if i consider only this part so if i consider only this uh, rotational gates and then this two qubit gates this state can be mapped to a graph so we considered quantum graph state which has the following structure so uh, this state this is quantum state but this state can be 
map to a graph. So uh, we know that in graph theory is the graph is constructed with vertices and edges. So if we say that the vertices correspond to a qubit, to qubits or to spins, and edge corresponds to interaction between spins or action of two qubit gate, we know this mapping and we can say that we have a correspondence between graph, quantum state, and graph. And uh, in this paper pub published with my PhD student, uh, Natalia Sosolovska, we obtained an expression for geometric measure point of entanglement of one qubit with other qubits in this quantum graph state. And it is interesting to note that here, we have dependence on these parameters, of course, and we have, here we have also additional parameter. This is the vertex degree. So in, in, in graph theory, uh, we have this very important parameter, and we have relation of quantum uh, result of, of uh, result, our result for geometric measure of entanglement with the degree of vertex. So uh, also, in more general case, we can construct a graph state, uh, graph states with the following structure. So the previous slides, uh, in the previous slides, we considered uh, these states. And now let us consider more general case when we have action of this uh, uh, rotational xx gates, uh, these two qubit gates. And then this, this initial state has the following form. So we have also mapping. So this, the action uh, of these gates has to be done uh, in accordance to the graph structure. So in this case, uh, we have also obtained the geometric measure of entanglement of qubit with other qubits in this uh, graph state. And also we obtained uh, that the measure of entanglement depend, uh, depends on the parameters of uh, graph. So we have here also the same values. This is the vertex, the degree uh, of vertex. So, <clears throat> uh, here on the slide, you can see the dependencies of the entanglement on parameters uh, pi, alpha, uh, phi, alpha, and uh, also um, phi, uh, theta, and theta, alpha, sorry. In particular cases, if we fix uh, parameters theta, uh, phi, and alpha. So, um, how to do this on a quantum device? How to calculate the geometric measurement of entanglement on a quantum device? Of course, we can do this with quantum programming and the protocol for the studies is the following. So first of all, we have to prepare our quantum graph state and then we have to measure, we have to detect the mean value of spin operator. So for instance, if we would like to measure the entanglement of qubit one with other qubits in this quantum state, we have to prepare this state and then we have to measure mean values of sigma x, sigma y, sigma z operators. To measure this, we have to use the following identities. So let us start with sigma x operator. So sigma x operator, the mean value of this uh, operator can be detected in some state, uh, in some quantum state, can be detected if we rewrite this operator with sigma z. So we use identity to rewrite this sigma x with this, this sigma z, and we obtain that this mean value can be rewritten as mean value of this sigma z operator, but in another state. And this state 
is obtained after action of the rotational gate. The floor we have here, this, upper, this gate. The same we have for sigma y operator. So we, we, we can rewrite this mean value with, with the help of identity. And we can rewrite this thing as mean value of sigma z operator, but in another state. So this state is defined in the, with the follow, in the following way. So we have here the operator of rotation, but around the x axis. So of course, these values are results of measurement, quantum measurement, and we can easily detect them with quantum program. So we have done this on the quantum, we realized this protocol on the quantum device. First of all, it was uh, IBM's quantum device, it was IBM Q Manila. And we try to study uh, dependence of entanglement on various parameters. So we considered operational quantum circuits um, diff with different uh, dips and uh, try to find the dependence of entanglement on parameters theta. So I have to explain that here, the red line is our theoretical result. Uh, black crosses are results of our quantum calculations on real quantum device, IBM, IBM quantum device. And uh, red circuits correspond to the results of our quantum of our calculations, but on a quantum simulator. It was IBM's quantum simulator. Then other dependencies here we have dependencies on the parameters theta. These parameters theta correspond to the R rotational gates, and these parameters phi correspond to, to the two phase shift gates. Also, we have the same. Um, we have the line corresponding to the theoretical results crosses to uh, real quantum calculations and uh, circuits corresponding to the quantum simulator. And here we also calculated the entanglement and dependence of entanglement on uh, parameters theta, but on different quantum devices. It was uh, here crosses correspond to IBM's quantum device. It was IBM Q first. And circuits, between circuits, correspond to Rigetti quantum device. So we have similar results of these calculations. And the last one is for this quantum graph states for prepared with uh, rotational XX gates. And the results, are we, we are interested in dependence of um, entanglement on additional parameter in this case it is alpha parameter so uh, we have also the crosses corresponding to the results of quantum calculations circuits corresponding to quantum simulator and the solid line corresponding to theoretical results so uh, the results of theoretical theoretical results or result of uh, analytical calculations are presented here the results which are use it in the previous slides. So we have to, of course, plot, plot all the things. I present the dependencies here. And uh, here, uh, these expressions are presented in more general case when different parameters in our operational circuit are different. So we have theta zero, zero, and so on. So uh, I would like to conclude that uh, we studied the geometric measurement entanglement of multi qubit quantum states, and we have done the studies analytically with our with the help of theoretical uh, calculations and also with quantum devices. So we can do this on the quantum devices because we know that the geometric mesh of entanglement is related with mean spin. We know, we know this relation and we can detect the mean spin on a quantum device with quantum protocols and we have done this. 
So uh, we obtained nice relation uh, between quantum properties. So we have entanglement as a quantum property of quantum state and properties of graphs. This is the vertex degree. So we obtained this relation in general case. We considered arbitrary graph with arbitrary structure and uh, we construct uh, the quantum state corresponding to this graph and then calculate the entanglement. Um, maybe that's all I have also to thank to thank our defenses defenses uh, uh, to say glory to Ukraine glory to our heroes so we have alarms in Lviv so I have to understand and to remember about this daily thank you Yeah, and in the meantime, you give a wonderful presentation. Thank you for this fantastic presentation, Christina. This is great work. And uh, and also the audience is sharing. Tia Miu shares, nice one, Christina, nice work. Maya shares, this work is fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, Tia Miu, nice work. Look deeply, you can deduce an effective fidelity from this nice work. Amazing presentation. There are also various questions. Uh, Shashi Kumar asks, does it relate to uh, the measure of complexity? The measure of complexity in graph? I think oh. so. Um, in the frame of other studies, uh, we have not uh, obtained such relation, but of course, it's an interesting question. So it's interesting to to find us. So we, we obtained this expression and we have clear understanding that we have the vertex degree, but of course the degree of vertex can be related, related with other parameters. So we can look. Great. And Marcy asks, did your analytical results consider the noise model of the quantum processor? Uh, no, no, analytical? No, no, no. We, just calculated uh, if we have ideal quantum computer and what we would find. So we have to we have to find analytically the mean spin and uh, we did not include noise in our calculation. So thank you, thank you for the question. Great, thank you again for this wonderful presentation. Thank you for being here, especially.